you're not competing with the box down the road that already has a hundred or they have 50. And I want those guys like, no, we've said this time and time again, your job is to explain and educate everybody to why they need to be healthy. And even more so to showcase the difference between you and the global gyms in town that are, there's thousands of people going there. If you can't, right. if you can't educate those members as to, Hey, Here's why you should try cross. I mean, we I had a new girl in my class last night, who I, you know, first time she's been there for a month. I said, Oh, what made you join CrossFit? She's like, Well, I was a member at a global gym and I just wasn't going in. And it's like, yeah, a global gym appears to be cheaper at $19 a month, but it's not cheaper if you're not using it. I mean, if you go to a global gym once a month, you're paying $19 for that session. If you go to your CrossFit, 16 times a month, you're probably paying like eight or nine dollars for that session. It's cheaper to go to CrossFit if you're using it. If you're using it, and then then the question becomes, well, what if they don't come? Well, well then true. you're not making it often. You're not making it awesome enough. Yeah, and it, it you know this goes back to that clip that I was talking about earlier. Like, this is why it has to be the best hour of their day. And guess what? If it's the if it's truly the best hour of the day for most people that come into your gym, right? You're going to have people that have off days. You're going to have people that just are there to train. They're not in it for those reasons. That's fine. That, that doesn't mean we don't want them. That just means those the, they could be great people. But if 90% of the people that come into your gym every day leave happy, you're going to be really freaking happy too. I, and probably the reason I have an issue with that statement is because best is, is this is an absolute. Right, meaning like everything else falls underneath that. So, okay, yeah, you do right. only speak in absolutes. You do only speak in absolutes. But uh, let's have a little again. Nuance is a thing. I know not in today's society, but let's practice a little bit here, which is replace the best hour of their day with people really look forward to going there. Right, right? like because I want I want you to think about this. How many people do you know have something every day that they do that they really look forward to? And I don't mean like playing Nintendo, right? Like that's wasting fucking time. Okay. But how many people do you know? They, they have something. Cause like, think about it. Like most CrossFit gyms are very much like meeting up with your friends in a social setting, like going to the bar. Now, Jay, I know you don't like social settings and gives you anxiety, but like for normal people, they like to go out and they like to be with people. Like, think about it that way. Like people should genuinely look forward to going. They should be like, we, cause we can all agree. Most people don't do jobs they enjoy. Like the vast majority do not do things that they enjoy for a living. They do it because it pays the bills, which means like it leaves like a couple other things. And we could assume that like, there's a ton of people that aren't even fat, happy with their, with their home life, either their, their spouse or their kids or something like that. Like just, there's a lot of people just walking around in misery. So I don't think it is actually that far fetched to be like, people should really look forward to coming into your gym because like, it's kind of an escape for them because exercising is an escape. It's good for mental health. Why would they not be looking forward to that? Like, that's the, that's the better question. Like it shouldn't be the best other day. Like, why wouldn't it be? Yes. I like going home to my kids. I also really look forward to training most days, right? I'm just like, I get to just not think about things for a little bit, right? I got a, a million different balls in the air, like all this kind of stuff. And be like, it would be nice to just like, have no thoughts whatsoever and just exercise because I know I'm going to feel good afterwards, regardless of how much I loathe the idea of like doing this rigorous training session right now. Right. I've never trained and like that was a bad idea. Like I'm always like, I'm glad I did it, even though I scaled it, whatever. So that is what we're talking about is like people should be looking forward to it. If they look forward to it, they will go. If they don't look forward to it, then they're going to cancel. Hands down. 